And right before we went to break, we were talking about some of the legal issues that you're dealing with, with um, buyers and sellers in the real estate industry. I know personally, when it comes to legal issues, you're one of those attorneys that really tries to vet out for their clients the reasonableness of suing. You're just not an attorney that's just going to say, go file a lawsuit. That being said, from a legal perspective, what are some of the traps that you're seeing buyers and sellers falling into? Um, I try and educate my client um, Mm -hmm. thoroughly about the issues. Mm -hmm. Um, If they come to me for advice and maybe are hot to sue, um, I do, Carla, just say, well, hold on a second. Let's analyze. Let's not go to court right away because that's a whole (laughs) sticky situation (laughs) once you're in court. That's true. Um, But Mm -hmm. I I try to educate them and go through the issues. and. You one of the things that um, that clients, well, one of the main things that clients, uh, uh, the problems mm-hmm. is that they don't read the contract mm. and they don't know what they're signing. Right. So sometimes they come to me and they have <laughs> an issue and they're real mad about. It. I said, "Well, did you read the contract? It's mm-hmm. pretty plain right here as to what your obligations are," mm-hmm. and they just don't understand that. So reading the contract, reading what you're signing is is just so important. 